Tech News is red, Tech News is blue. We're bringing that link directly to you. <laughs> Love it. There are now a bit more details that have come to light on Intel's upcoming 10-core Skylake X i9-7900X. The details come from a Sysoft Sandra benchmark result post, and it looks like the 7900X is more powerful than anyone expected. With its 10 cores, the 7900X has a base clock of 4 GHz and a boost clock of 4.5 GHz. Now, the 7900X chip is improperly labeled as an i7 chip, but the other details of the upcoming Skylake X chip, like the 10 MB of L2 cache, the 13.75 megabytes of L3 cache and the 175 watt TDP are confirmed through this post. Another interesting tidbit would be that the benchmarks were performed on a Gigabyte X299 Aorus Gaming 7 motherboard, which obviously has not been announced yet. Some sources are speculating that the higher clock of the chip could be a part of Intel's strategy to counter the potential of AMD Ryzen CPUs and maybe even take back the performance crown by the year's end. Looks like this summer's CPU war just intensified. What do you guys think about the upcoming Core i9s? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Back in March, Microsoft began making its way to live streaming with the introduction of Beam, their own live stream service that would rival Twitch. Today, Microsoft Microsoft announced some new features including a new name change for the streaming service. Beam is now called Mixer. The new name emphasizes the need to share content across multiple platforms including Windows 10 PCs, Xbox Ones, and mobile devices. One of the new features is called co-streaming which allows someone to broadcast four different streams on one channel. This will let you see the point of view of each player simultaneously and co-streaming can also be used whether you are all playing the same game together or playing different games. If new content to watch is what you want, there is Channel 1. Channel 1 is sort of a starting point for newcomers to see the many broadcasts on Mixer at any given time. In celebration of the new name and features, Microsoft is holding a bunch of different events on its Mixer channel, including an interactive fireworks show at 9 p.m. Pacific that allows viewers to pick what fireworks to launch into the sky. Cool. Earlier this week, a report came out on the Samsung Galaxy S8's iris scanner and how there could be a flaw in the system. The report mentions how someone could trick the phone into unlocking by using a picture of someone's eye covered with some contact lenses. Well, Samsung has responded to this report saying that they have conducted internal demonstrations under the same circumstances and it was extremely difficult to replicate the same results. Samsung believes that this scenario is highly unlikely, but they are looking into ensuring tighter security going forward. It's time for SNIPPY Snippy Snippets. Acer has added a new tablet to their lineup of devices that has a 10-inch quantum dot screen with four speakers and a built-in subwoofer. Andy Rubin, the co-founder of Android, is preparing to formally announce the new smartphone in which his company Essential has been working on. Essential tweeted out that something big is coming next Tuesday, May 30th. Crackdown 3 has just been confirmed as a Play Anywhere title, meaning that the Xbox exclusive will be coming to Windows 10 PC as well. If you haven't played Crackdown before, you're kind of like a cop on <laughs> defeating random enemies. Can we say that? A cop on <laughs> No. Okay, well, you're a cop with superhuman powers. Same thing. Kingston will be launching their first NVMe SSD, the KC-1000, sometime mid-June. KC-1000, that's so easy and fun to say. I don't know why Jack thinks that's fun to say. KC-1000? KC-1000! <laughs> and Zotac has introduced two mini-sized GTX 1080 Ti's. One has an air cooler and one has a full water block, but both probably very expensive. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post, linked in the description. Your mom is so fat that her game character needs a dedicated server. Wow. I haven't heard a Yo Mama joke in like 15 years exaggerating. But thank you for your Yo Dog submission, David. If you have something you would like us to say on the show, tweet at us with hashtag NCIX Yo Dog. By now, some of you are thinking, whoa, where did Julia get that sick shirt? And the answer is from NX Fusion. That's right, NX Fusion is NCIX's own line of apparel, and they've got a few designs to choose from in tees, sweatshirts, and hoodies. Plus, 
You can help NX Fusion with expanding their designs by helping fill in a really quick survey. So you could design, be responsible for the next awesome design. You have the power to influence what designs might come out next. So click up here or down in the description for the info on that survey and help us take the survey. And you could, you know, yeah. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIS. And we go back to writing more sick rhymes, you know? Sick rhymes?